Sunday morning and I'm going to take you guys with me to perform a tree spirit transfer ceremony now this ceremony is something that I like to do whenever we have any kinds of like crazy storms or even I mean honestly I even do it when I'm cutting down the weeds and like giant you know bushes that are overgrown in our yard because I just think it's something respectful to do. Um, it's very symbolic and it has a lot to do with my personal practice. So I'm just going to take you guys along with me as I do this. I'll explain things as I go and um, there'll be lots of beautiful nature footage in this video because I am going to a place in the forest where um, a lot of trees have fallen because of the, the last hurricane that we had. So without further ado, Let's go. <laughs> this is my like dirty rock hounding bag. I am gonna bring my trowel as well, actually. I feel very cliche eating a granola bar right now as I'm about to go for my tree ceremony. <laughs> Sometimes a spirit will, or sometimes spirits will cohabit a tree, depending on their temperament or, you know, uh, how the tree grows. And you can, oh, you see that kind of often when a tree grows and it branches out into two, two different <laughs> trees, like two different sections. Um, that is like a cohabitation. So we'll see what we can find. There's a tree here that has been put with two spirits. As you can I'll turn around and show you. There we go. See? Cohabitation is possible. So, if I see a tree young enough to do that with, then we can do that. Look at how gorgeous. So pretty. When they get bigger on the way up, I wish that I could go up there and see them, but that is not possible unless someone wants to fly me up there. So lovely. Over here in this area, my mind's eye had put a wall. So there was a wall here, like when I walked up and I was like listening and I was looking around for the acorn and out of my peripheral, I swore there was a wall there. And then when I look up and actually look over into the area, 
there is not a wall there at all. And that is, if you have that experience, that is uh, a result of fairy warding or spirit warding. So if there's an area where they don't want you to go, or an area that, you know, is protected and they don't want you to see anything there or go in that area, you, your mind's eye will put a wall there. It'll be seen as an area where you cannot trespass, which is really interesting. And I thought that was worth noting just because it was an experience that I had right in this moment. So I wanted to share it with you guys. So yeah, if there's ever an area or like a space or a building or a house or anything where you feel that you definitely don't want to go there or you just feel like you get a weird vibe from it, a weird feeling from it, and you feel like it's not a place where you want to be, that is the reason. Because it is protected, it is warded, and that ward sometimes takes the form of a wall or a building or something that is in your way. There's a nice tree growing right here. I mean, there are loads of little saplings here. So these are really great for transfer as well. Let's just see. Let's just get a little closer to our fallen tree and see if they will make the choice. Perhaps we'll receive a sign that well, our fallen tree is actually just right there. I thought it was further up. I don't know, I feel like that acorn falling was significant, even though I didn't find it. <laughs> I feel like that was still quite significant. So, let's get started. I don't know if you caught that. <laughs> I walked directly into a fairy ring. I walked directly into one. It's kind of wide and a lot of it has been destroyed or pulled. So I didn't even notice it until I stood right in the middle of it and looked ahead of me, then looked to the side and was like, oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> so I noticed all of these here, but then I thought that was where it stopped, but no. And I just did not even notice that I was standing in it, you see? <laughs> If you ever find yourself standing in a fairy ring um, by mistake, humbly apologize back out of the ring. Um, backwards, walk backwards. You are walking backwards, turn your clothes inside out, put your clothes on backwards. Those are things that can hide you or transform your appearance to the fae. So that's what I suggest. Um, I do have a malevolent ward on right now. Um, as I always do whenever I'm doing any spirit work in the forest, just in case, you know, and it's, it's just, um, something that keeps me kind of shrouded from anything malevolent, and I do frequent this area very often, and I think that that will, um, hopefully give me <laughs> some good standing here. So this sweet baby is what we're going to be transferring right now. Now, as you can see, there are three spirits in this tree, so um, I'm going to sense and see if all three are still here or if any of them have moved on. This is something that you can do simply by touching and focusing on the energy of the tree just to see if you feel life here. So uh, I'm surprised, but I definitely do feel life in this tree, in this um, this one here. And this one is actually still growing, the small one. So I think it has a good chance of continue, to continuing its growth here. Uh, I was surprised. I thought for sure the small one would have like jumped, you know. But there is still life coming out of this tree, and it is it is growing. As you can see along here, it's still sprouting out branches moving up, uh, so it is definitely still growing. This one, I think, has... yeah, this one, this one needs to be moved. You can feel, you can see the difference in the bark from this one. It's dry and, and it's not as vibrant as this one. It does still have life growing on it, but the spirit in it feels 
very weak. This bigger one here, I have a very stubborn, stubborn sort of sense from it. I'm climbing up right now. <laughs> this one actually feels empty. Oh, it seems that this, this piece to the right has already um, found a new home. The spirit has found a new home and it's been here for a little bit, so it makes sense. This one in the middle, however, needs to be moved. So we're gonna transfer um, the spirit here to a tree that is just over there, one of the saplings that we found, because they all, um, a couple of them feel inhabited, but they all have, uh, they're sprouting out with more than one little shoot. So I think that we can transfer this this lady here over there. found a nut on the tree when I was walking along, um, moving her along the tree, I found a nut just sitting on top of the tree, which is perfect. It does have teeth marks <laughs> from a squirrel, um, but it's perfect, so I'm going to plant this. The camera keeps turning off on its own. Sometimes. In my experience, if a tree has freshly fallen um, within like a day or a week, you can guide the spirit out of the tree through the roots and it can sort of flow out and follow you into the next place where it's going to go. Sometimes when, um, just like with anything, if there is a huge tragedy, an abrupt change or, you know, um, something being uprooted in your life and you feel sadness and grief and displacement and it makes you feel depressed, you know, if you can sink into depression and you feel like you can't move or you can't do anything. Sometimes you just need some encouragement to move and right? sometimes you need some encouragement from someone to let you know that, hey, you can still grow, you can still move, you can come out of this and you can flourish somewhere else. So I don't think it's like impossible to think of a tree spirit needing that sort of encouragement and, and needing someone to say, you know, I see you and I know that you still have a life to live, you know, so come over here into this beautiful new, fresh, hot, new, young sapling and continue living, you know, continue growing. Because we did find an acorn, I'm going to plant it here in this area and then I will also offer up this space over here with the little sapling, depending on what she would like best. I'm going to go over here and sit in meditation for a while and just kind of uh, offer my energy and my space here and we'll leave to give her some privacy and she'll decide where she'd like to go. Interesting turn of events. She wanted to be in that tree, which I had no idea was uninhabited. <laughs> so as I was sitting, trying to allow myself to be open and just offer up my energy, and I had a lovely visual of her, and she took my hands and clasped them, and then kind of whooshed into the ground. And then I could feel a slight turn, like, you know, as if someone put their finger on my cheek and turned my head over to this tree, which is like a tree already, you know? And so I 
assumed that she would prefer to go into a smaller sack one, but this is exactly where I feel her. And she feels younger, which is pretty cool. Like, um, kind of like a 16 year old. <laughs> and it's a very interesting sort of, sort of thing. Um, this tree here seems to have four spirits inhabiting it and apparently whatever was here kind of allowed itself to move over there for her to be here. Uh, this all sounds completely nuts but it's how I feel. It's the information that I'm receiving. So here she is. Beautiful. And there you have it. I am going to sing a little song for them of gratitude and of thanks and I'm going to also sprinkle some Miracle Grow on her since this is where she is now and I'll also give some to the, the spirit that moved over for her. That was um, something very very nice and interesting and and the energy in here in this area is just really cute right now like very like I don't I can't I don't even know how to describe it. Very summer like summer fairy excitement happiness um, and also a little sleepy. It is a little sleepy in here now too. Lots of energy and flowing is, is tiring. And it is, like I said, the season is changing. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my, um, you know, whimsical rituals that I enjoy doing. I just really like to be present with nature and to offer my services any way that I can. And uh, I think it, I mean, it makes a lot of sense that we get so, we get everything from nature, you know, we get everything, we get medicine, we get, you know, shelter, we get everything, food, and one of my favorite things is just being able to walk around and see things grow and see how the animals, you know, um, build their worlds in the forest, it's amazing, it's, it's such a treat, and I'm very grateful for that, I'm very grateful for just being able to witness that, so... There you go. This is something that you can do for any plant that is dying or dead or even, uh, you know, an animal that you, know, you see um, that needs like a little ritual, a little rite. It's just something really respectful to do. So if you're someone who wants that closer connection with nature, try doing something like this when you see um, something that needs a new life. I'm going to go now and get something to eat and go visit my brother and just have a great day. See you guys in the next video. Mwah!